Happy Pride Month, y'all. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's Pride yeah. Month. We gay. <laughs> I got married in Pride Month. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. When's your anniversary? Uh, the 5th. It's coming up. What? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time to break up break up the chains the whips <laughs> the gimp mask <laughs> <laughs> what's the safe word <laughs> uh, what's up everybody hey <laughs> <laughs> it's another episode of the night funk um we don't have a topic for today because we said fuck it we just gonna we just need a Let's talk about the gays. We need to talk about the gays. Yeah. Talk about other stuff that's been going on uh, just in our lives and shit. Yeah. That involve gays. Be a fun episode. <laughs> <laughs> I was raped. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, oh, man. I was looking at the news today talking about the gays. Uh, I just got to stop saying that. <laughs> um, in Florida, they always like every year they do like a huge gathering at Disney World, all the theme parks pretty much, but Disney World, of course, is the main one. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people right now are kind of like playing with the idea of not doing it, like not going. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, they call it Gay Day. And it's like, it's a whole like week long thing. They hold like parties, pool parties, and shit like that. Yeah. Like I was looking at one of the posters that they had up was just a bare pool party. It's <laughs> the hairiest fucking pool ever. <laughs> Um, oh God, the drains all clogged up. No, yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, it's like three guys in the pool because that's all I could fit. <laughs> but um, like a lot of people are worried because of all the shit that DeSantis is doing down there. Yeah, uh, with all like the don't say gay bill, and uh, he just recently tried, or I don't know if he passed it or if it is going to pass. Um, they can deny medical treatment to uh, LGBTQ plus people. What? Yeah, so if you're trans uh, and you get in, like, in a car wreck, if the EMT that shows up to, you know, fucking, you know, strap you up and put you in the fucking uh, ambulance, if he decides he's an asshole and is like, no, nah, I don't fuck with trans people, he can just leave you there. No repercussions whatsoever. Damn. Yeah. That's fucking wild, They dude. passed the law back in, like, I think it was, like, 96, where it's like, because one guy did that, and he just mm-hmm. left the person there. And luckily, he was, like, persecuted. He lost his medical license and whatever. And I think he went to prison for a bit, too. So that happened in Florida? Yeah. Okay. And there was a law to stop that from happening. But now DeSantis is just kind of with a fucking pen stroke and a finger full of tapioca pudding just stop that shit. Well, I thought it was always illegal to refuse uh, giving anybody medical attention. Oh, yeah, it is. Because they can't turn away homeless people either. If a homeless mm-hmm. person goes, like, uh, if a homeless person shows up injured in any, like, way, shape, or form, mm-hmm. and they're asking for medical treatment, you have to give them treatment even if they can't pay or have insurance. Speaking of homeless people, motherfucker, whoever it is, I hope you listen to this. <laughs> what? Um... So I was looking at my insurance because I was just kind of like trying to see like if I had any things I wasn't using or whatever, if I had any things I could, you know, do on my insurance. Like the you can get discounts on your insurance. So I can get like a Fitbit for like like thirty percent off. It's great. Okay. Which I kinda wanna get one. Um just they're, keep they're, track of shit. They're great. Yeah. yeah. I mean I use mine for like tracking my sleep and shit. Tell me why when I went on there there was a seven hundred dollar charge for an ambulance ride. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, some motherfucker said my name and used my shit to get an ambulance <laughs> ride, and it was like, I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and the shitty part, like the crazy part, is it was, it happened from what I see, it was in the city limits, so you know the hospital is like right there. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. across town, but whatever. They charged, it was, two fifty for the service. And the rest of that money was travel. Yeah. Yeah. Like $500 of gas. Yeah, dude. Ambulance rides are fucking expensive. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So I was like, Most I don't want to find this guy and be like, look, brother fucker, I'm going to set you up an Uber account because fuck you. Okay. There's been a lot of cases where people almost bled out going mm-hmm. to the emergency room because they drove themselves oh, yeah. there because nobody can afford to get an ambulance. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. If you are in critical condition, get a fucking ambulance out there. But the, what they yeah. charge for an ambulance ride is complete. Like, it's just a, 
most of them are just private now. Yeah. It's a private company running the ambulances. Mm-hmm. And they'll charge you whatever they fucking feel like it. That's why um, I saw a TikTok of that one guy that's talking about medical shit. And he put up a website being like, here's what uh, what things should cost. Yeah. And then you can see what they mark it up. And then you can dispute it. Because you can be like, well, this is what it actually costs. So why are you charging me quadruple the amount? And it helps a lot of people like lower their medical bills. Yeah, a lot of times what you can do is if you don't like the outcome of like a hospital bill, you can ask them to send you an itemized yeah. bill. Uh, that doesn't always work though, because sometimes they'll, you know, even the companies they get shit from like mm-hmm. spike the prices up and shit. But Truth most be- of the time, it's actually the uh, the hospitals itself. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I remember they did like a really good episode of like Adam ruins everything about it. Mm -hmm. Talking about like basically health insurance became a thing because of corporate greed. Somebody figured out it's like, Hey, everybody gets sick. Mm -hmm. So what if we made a service where we cover like the bills, but the only way this is going to work is we have to be in cahoots with the hospitals to raise their prices. Because back then, you know, doctors, you know, you paid them for their services. You know, yep. you show up, they give you what the, you need to get better, and then they bill you. And usually, the bill is you know the cost of what it, of yeah. whatever stuff you needed and their Plus service, their service yeah. and that's it. But it was like a reasonable price for like a service, though. It wasn't yeah. like now. Like I mean, like yeah, I get it. You went to medical school and all this shit, and like you're a fucking surgeon and everything like that. But I shouldn't have to like plan out a whole year to have a life-saving surgery. Like, yeah. I, don't, I shouldn't have to budget all of my money for that. Yeah, why is it that every time I go to, like, the quick care because I'm feeling sick to get antibiotics, I'm getting mm-hmm. a bill, like, a month later for, like, $400? Yeah. Like, what, is, what the fuck did my insurance cover? Yeah. Like, oh, they covered a portion of it. But, like, mm-hmm. so you're, selling, you're telling me without my insurance, I would have got charged almost a grand? Mm-hmm. That's fucking ridiculous. And then a grand for what? For sitting in the waiting room for a bit. Yeah. Going tell, in there. Telling, telling them, them I'm wrong, sick. Them telling you, oh, you have this. That'll yep. be $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that shit. That's why I like going to Mexico. Like going to Mexico when you go to the doctor down there. Yeah. Uh, like when I was little, I went to, I got, I got like a, like a really bad, like a, uh, like flu or like, like chest, like virus or something. And my parents took me to this uh, pharmacy down there. Chest virus? Yeah, well, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> He's growing tits. <laughs> and they're still here. <laughs> no, like, they took me to the pharmacy, and I was like, oh, they're probably just going to get me some, like, you know, some Tylenol or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. No, so the pharmacist takes us to the back, and he has, like, a little, like, like shitty little table set up and everything. I'm like, oh, he's a doctor. And he's like, oh, no, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he's like, oh, no, you need a shot of this. And it was like a like an antibiotic or something. Mm. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it was. And motherfucker just like bent me over, stabbed me like with the needle. And uh, yeah, I was fine. Like the next day, like that night I was just like burning up. Like he injected me with like liquid fire or something. He probably gave um, you like a strong ass, like steroid. No. Yeah. And it cost us 20 American. Yeah. Yeah. Like 200 pesos. It's, it's, it's pricey down there, but I mean, <laughs> twenty fucking bucks, and I'm good to go. I mean, them prices might change over a while because, yeah. because I mean, I mean, uh, Mexico's economy is on the on the up. Oh yeah, it's getting better, man. It's so fucking funny how quickly they're like, we're gonna nationalize our lithium, and America's like, hey, these cartels are getting out yeah, of hand. No, we're gonna come down and help you out. It's like, quick. how about no? no they're, I think they're working out of the lithium mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's fentanyl in there. <laughs> we'll just take the lithium out of the way first, and then we'll deal with the cartel. <laughs> Bro, that is so fucked that they're doing that. It's like, going to be... It's, it's, it's so obvious what the fuck they're doing. They're de- trying to destabilize someone so they can come in and take the resources. So, you know, like, I remember it's, it was actually reported. They talked about this because, um, you know, during uh, Ronald Reagan's era of, mm. like, war against, like, uh, drugs and shit... Dang. It was also around the same time the crack epidemic was happening. So, you know, yeah. obviously there's no, no foul play going on oh, there. Yeah, no. But it's funny how many times there's a case reported of them finding an individual dead mm-hmm. that had crack on them. Not in a bag, 
sprinkled on them. Just loose crack. Yeah. Yeah. That's where that Dave Chappelle joke comes from. Mm-hmm. It's loose. like, what kind of crackhead just dies? And he's like, <laughs> just sprinkles it on them. Like, <laughs> hey, little fairy dust. <laughs> but no, but like the whole, like, them wanting to go to Mexico to fight the cartels, quote, unquote. Mm-hmm. Um, it's bullshit because, uh, like, everyone, every single other politician that's not a fucking, like, GOP Republican or fucking, you know, alt-right, whatever the fuck these people are. Yeah. Everyone has said, look at the data. Most of this fentanyl is coming from fucking China. It's yeah. coming from the ports, not from the border. Like, yeah, there, there's some coming through the border of Mexico. There's no, we're not saying, like, it's like, no, they're 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 definitely sending some up. But most of it's coming through fucking, like, L.A., New York, fucking Florida, all their ports, uh, Mm -hmm. Oregon, all that shit's coming from all these major ports from China. Yeah. China. China. (laughs) Tiananmen Square. (laughs) Oh, did Uh, you see those TikToks I sent you of how to say uh, uh, Valles Verga and shit in in Chinese? uh, I think so. Uh, I don't remember, like, how to... Gui. (laughs) Oh, uh, uh, yeah. (laughs) Gui. (laughs) We <laughs> for all our Chinese listeners. It's funny. I was listening to this thing the other day, and I actually had to look it up. It actually, it actually did turn out. Um, so a basketball reporter mm-hmm. got in trouble for saying something, and it's funny because it's funny because it wasn't intentional. So he was. They were review. They were reviewing a clip, yeah. right, of like of a basketball game, right, mm-hmm. and basically the they were talking about how this basketball player was able to get through this other basketball players like defense. Right. Yeah. And he, and in, in, in his quote, he was like, yeah, if you can see right here, he, he managed to be able to find the chink in the armor and get through. <laughs> what? Yeah. They got him for that. Yeah. Because the basketball player that was the defensive player was Asian. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's, it wasn't racist. Also, I didn't know. It was, I thought it was kink in the armor. No, it's chink in the armor. Is it chink in the armor? Yeah. Okay. Also, we're not saying that in... Uh, no, we're not. UK. Yeah, Tiananmen but, Square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, for some reason, I always thought it was kink in the armor. I mean, it can be that too, but I mean, like, to me, a kink is like a bend. Yeah. And then a chink is like a break. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to have to bleep it all out. <laughs> Do I have to censor this? I don't know. Nah. Just be safe. Uh, I, I Honestly, no, nah, it'll be yeah. fine. It's not like... <laughs> I, I'd stumble upon that uh, that uh, that TikTok again, or it used to be the vine of the guy writing uh, Jerome is a, and he put N, and yeah. you see the guy just like stone face get angry, and then I, and he's like right next to him, and then he puts like the beginning of the G, and he's like just staring at him, and then he just E guy, yeah, and he's just over there like ah yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, and <laughs> I was at work yesterday. And we were just joking around, and one of my he is white bread white. Mm-hmm. Uh, my one of my coworkers. Uh, I play golf with him. Actually, did I tell you that? I went to go. Yeah, play, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me about you went to go uh, play golf. Yeah, that shit was fun. Yeah, I never went. I've never played golf. I've only ever played like mini golf and shit. Which should, mini, you should try it next time I go. I'll invite you. That way you can try it out. Okay. But, um, I mean, we just rode around the golf carts all day, just <laughs> fucking hitting balls. Um, but, um, he is the whitest of white breads. Um, you know, both his parents are together. You know, his grandpa has some old Picassos apparently in his house. Okay. Yeah. They're probably stolen. <laughs> um, he has the help helping out. Yeah. <laughs> grandma uh, is not, grandma does not like minorities. <laughs> no, probably not. But, uh, he was oh. like, <laughs> <laughs> that actually brought, back a memory of one of my best friends grandmother uh, yeah. she uh she uh she's already passed away but you know she was from that era oh, yeah. and she for the longest time didn't know it was inappropriate to call them negroes because <laughs> <laughs> like she was because one time she came over when we were having like a band practice right and she was just like i met the sweetest Negro boy at the grocery store today. He helped me uh, 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 pick out the fruit I needed. And and we're just like, what fruit was it? And they're like, oh, I got myself a watermelon. (laughs) (laughs) He really knew how to pick the right one. It was just just 
we were just like, yo. That's fucked. <laughs> she didn't know. Well, like, she did, but. I had an idea. I had an image in my head of her being at a Publix and being like. Hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, who can help me pick out the right watermelon? And she scans and sees the only black employee. Well, she probably was like, well, there's the black guy. There's a Mexican right behind. <laughs> he probably picked the shit. So, <laughs> uh, but, It's um, funny. Um, uh, my um, That same a friend, he's got a really interesting story. Yeah. So apparently that grandmother, uh, his grandmother, right? Uh, her husband, his grandfather, of course, he actually was a clan member. Oh, fun. Yeah. But the thing was, she knew about it and she just like ignored it. Cause he, from what he told me is like, she always knew that it was a thing, but she told him like, I don't want any part of this, you know, just don't, I don't want to hear like anything about it. Right. Like, you know, ignorance is bliss, but her, the day he was born, like literally his first grandchild the day he was born he fell out of a deer stand and died really yeah <laughs> and that's one of my boys that's like a hardcore ally too and it's like <laughs> he came he came uh he, yeah he uh white power went out and yeah. like fucking <laughs> was the baby black huh? <laughs> <laughs> no 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 go back to the, uh my buddy yeah he's white he's the whitest whites And we were just talking about, like, you know, one of our friends, his girlfriend's black. um, And, you know, he always talks about, like, dealing with her family. Like, he's he's white, too. And he went to um, um, his, her family, they all went to, uh, what's that one, uh, like, African-American college? Uh, Uh, Like, the one in Atlanta? I think so, yeah. Fuck, what's it called? It isn't it. It's named after a famous black person, of course. I, I guess, yeah. I don't forget, but they're all like alumni there. And her Booker dad's T. Like Washington. A big, he, and her dad is like a big, like big shot. Everyone yeah. knows who he is. Everyone was walking up, shaking his hand, saying, "It's an honor to meet you, sir," and all this shit. Yeah. And he turns and is like, "Oh, this is my daughter, and this is her friend." <laughs> 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 They've been together for like five years. <laughs> but yeah, it was just funny. Um, but no, go back to the other guy. There is he used that- to play football in college. Yeah. And he was like, man, sometimes you just have to be careful what you said in the gym so, or in the locker room sometimes. Like, uh, you know, like I was friends with a lot of them, but those people sometimes just, I was like, whoa, you said those people. Like, we need to tone that shit down, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, I, I've had to deal with that a lot. <laughs> but, not, but not in like. What, not, those people? <laughs> not necessarily. I mean. See, I had a an ex girlfriend, and I don't want to yeah. speak badly of her or her family, but I understand that everyone's like from like their own like yeah. mindset. But it was clear that her family had a very much like conservative mindset, you know. And it's whatever; it didn't really bother me. But sometimes it would just really be like, really, like just irks the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, like you know, sometimes you just have a random conversation, you just be like, oh yeah, I mean. Yeah. We're thinking about taking a trip, but the gas has gone up a lot, and, and she would hit us with a, well, you can thank Obama for that. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, ah, whatever. And I remember one time, they were giving me, like, a ride home, because, like, my car was, like, messed up, and I went to go hang out with them or something, and they they were able to, like, drive me home, but the whole way home, she was just throwing me, like, immigration questions, and I was just like, where is this coming from? You, like, I was like, you think I, I'm illegal? <laughs> I was like, I'm not illegal, but she's just like, yeah, but, like, why do they come? I'm like, I mean, if you didn't live in America, would you come here? Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure you would. To Keep- steal your white women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's it's one of those things yeah. where, like, you hear it so often down here. It just kind of, like, I just learn to ignore it. With, Although With Hannah's family. She's told me, Hannah's like, oh, yeah, if, you, if my, uh, her granddad and grandma on... I forgot which side of the family. If they were still alive, they wouldn't have accepted me. (laughs) Like, they would have been like, the fuck's he doing here? (laughs) That reminds me, uh, when I was at work the other day, uh, one of my coworkers came in with Mm -hmm. a bright red t-shirt, and it looked like a Trump, like, 2020 t-shirt or something. But it wasn't. It said, um, uh, said, like, 2020, I think it said, like, 2024, vote for Hugh Janus. (laughs) 
<laughs> that's funny. And I was just like, like that's a that, that's a pretty funny shirt. So it is a Trump shirt. <laughs> <Cute>. <laughs> Fuck that guy. But yeah, um, he do be looking thick on that on that on that uh, tennis court. You he's got seen? that. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's got the weird posture. Like he juts his ass out mm-hmm. because like he's off centered. Yeah, like someone did a, a like a like a side profile on him and they drew out what his body looks like under his suit. Yeah. And they put a saddle on him and they had a little cowboy riding on his ass. <laughs> I don't know. The motherfuckers built like Yoshi. A lot of people were bringing up the fact that like, he is starting to like do his campaigning shit. Right. And he's saying that like, as soon as I get back in the office day one, I'm going to make it to where like anchor babies can't be a thing anymore mm-hmm. and all this. Oh, but people, people don't forget yeah. And people had brought up, it's like, he promised the same thing when yeah. he ran for election last time and then just comp- didn't do anything about it. Yep. Like, he literally got into office and acted like, like, he literally just did not care. Like, you wrong. I didn't see that. Because honestly, when he came, when he went into the office, all he really did was just change a bunch of shit to make it easier for, you know, the top one percenters to make more money. Oh, yeah. He cut, uh, he gave them all tax breaks. He... Put us way more into debt. Like, everyone's saying, like, Obama did it, Bush did it. Yeah, of course they fucking did uh, because of, they continued the war. But Trump, just with all the tax breaks that he was doing, put us way more into debt. Well, if you – I remember – um, and I remember, like, yeah. Bernie Sanders did, a like, a whole speech thing about it where he talked about it where he's just, like, like – like since the fucking 1950s, the debt ceiling has been moved up like 80 times. Yeah. But that's the thing. The debt ceiling doesn't mean like we necessarily are in debt. It just means we have to pay what we owe. And we've yeah. always paid what we owed. And he said, he said it's gone up. It went up in every, like the debt ceiling has been raised in every president, like since fucking like Eisenhower, mm-hmm. like, like every president, it was raised like, 10 times under Bush. It was raised like 12 times under Obama. Mm-hmm. It was raised multiple times under Trump. Yeah. Like it's not anything new. This is just something that we do. Like yeah, every I think we're up to like 31 trillion in debt now. Yeah, which yeah. I mean, you have to think about like we are a fucking global superpower of a country. Like that amount of debt isn't anything to us. It's not anything to us because like everyone's in debt. Yeah. Yeah. Every single country, like major countries, in debt with another country. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Like, like who comes in and like finally says like enough's enough. I know a lot of people have been talking about Russia and Ukraine right now. Yeah. Because you know they've been why they've been they've been <laughs> they've been, they've been losing that fight like pretty bad, right? Yeah, Russia's but, fucking up, dude. But here's the thing: people have been doing really, really deep dives on Russia in general. You yeah. know, for the longest time, you know. A war with Russia seemed a very scary thing because yeah. they basically hold the same amount of like tanks and like um, and well, like jets and this and, this we and that. Thought they that's did. that's what we thought. Yeah. But then you realize that all the tanks they have have been out of commission for years. Mm-hmm. They're in disres- disrepair, and they're literally like World War One and Two model tanks, like ones that haven't been fucking used yeah. in any kind of conflict in <laughs> years. I've still liked that one. Uh, Russia did their like their military parade down like uh like down past the Kremlin and everything they did do all the time to show like their power. Yeah. And they had one tank in the whole parade. And it was some old like World War Two era tank that they brought out of like a fucking museum, repainted it and got it running again. And then fucking uh Ukraine on Twitter started sending pictures to Russia. Mm-hmm. Being like, hey, if you want the rest of your tanks, they're over here. And they were sending pictures of all of them all blown up and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Not just that, but also yeah. they're, they're, these are the two things that I thought were really fucking funny. So they were talking about how basically for the longest time, Russia was bragging about like they have like just as many fucking like air like yeah. support as America does. Right. Turns out their numbers are, are just fake. Mm-hmm. They're not anywhere. They don't have those that what they claiming to have does not exist yeah. because they can't be found anywhere. And they, like their archives are like, there's not, there's nothing there, but what they did have was drones and they had bragged about the superiority of like how much drones they have. Right. Mm-hmm. They shot down a drone that was a Russian drone 
in Ukraine, and they actually opened it up and found out that it was a Canon camera duct taped inside. Are you serious? Yes, and it was just recording on a fucking micro SD. That's how they were surveilling. And then they started blowing up a lot of drones and realized, oh, wait, all these drones are the same. They're just old cameras Mm -hmm. that are attached inside that can barely get a good view of anything. And then they're basically just put together with scrap metal. Like, this is Russian engineering. They're literally using, I guess, what they found. Yeah. And then just adapting. The only thing that Russia has been doing effectively is creating those troll farms to basically like stir up like you know a bunch of malcontent oh, on the yeah. internet I, it's crazy like on on if we keep talking about tiktok because it's like it's in every aspect of our life now because a lot of information comes from there now yeah i mean it's Fucking, basically tiktok uh, has become the new twitter yeah uh the, i i don't know how many times i've come across a video that's pro russia from russia it's like in Russian text and everything, and then yeah. like someone will translate it in the comments and be like, "They're saying that they're winning, or they're saying that uh, what Ukraine is doing is wrong, and a bunch of other shit." It's all pro-Russian stuff, and it's all over Twitter. And I'm like, <laughs> "Why are they letting this on there?" And they're like, "Oh, because it's a Chinese uh, program." Okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Really, I've never gotten those. I really? I get videos of like drunk Russian guys trying to ride bears. Oh yeah, those too. <laughs> but yeah, that one guy that does push-ups with no hands because he just digs his feet into the yeah, snow. God. He's and gonna he's tear just, those just tendons just... on his legs. Dude. <laughs> but yeah, no, like and then like with the TikTok, with TikTok, with so- with social media, social media has been the thing that has brought Russia down a bunch because. Russians themselves are posting whenever, like, whenever they were drafting all the people over there in Russia, like they did a mandatory draft for all the young guys and they were getting taken in. They, someone recorded one of the officers being like, you're going to have to go out. You're going to have to go get your own medical stuff. You're going to have to go get your own sleeping bag. You're going to have to get your own boot. We don't have a rifle for you. We're going to send you out. Just find what you can. Um, Yeah. All you get is a fucking uniform and a kick in the ass. It's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what? I always think back of this. Uh, there's this older um, black gentleman at my job who always loves to just talk. Back to those people. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> don't say it like. That's uh, what my fucking coworker kept saying. I was like, bro, you can't fucking say <laughs> that, dude. <laughs> No, but I remember one time we were on the discussion. We're talking about like a bunch of like, you know, the whole America, like trying to wage war with the Mexican cartels Mm -hmm. and then Russia and all this and that. Right. And then he hits he he hit us with one of those like patriotic speeches. And he's like, it don't matter who the fuck is at our door. We're America, bitch. We'll fucking drop all the goddamn bombs. Look what we did to Japan. They've been drawing cartoons ever since. Like, (laughs) I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) Uh, yeah. he was saying some funny shit. It's funny. Um, I it's funny. It took two fucking nukes to make Japan into a bunch of weebs. Yeah, but Japan <laughs> was doing some crazy shit. Like they were I'm, like I'm, the whole competition. The two officers were having cutting people's heads off. I don't know. Uh, it's been coming a lot out. A lot of information. I know recently, a lot of people a couple of years back were talking about like the raping of Nanking, mm. like and then talking about like people forget like back in that era, yeah. Japan was doing a lot of horrific shit to Chinese and korean people and yeah. that's why there's so much hostility towards japanese people from mm-hmm. other asian countries because at one point in time they were on their imperial shit and they didn't give two fucks no, they saw everyone as lesser beings and yeah just fucked it yeah and uh it's just one of those things like you know like people are gonna hold on to that resentment mm-hmm. for a long time and then uh it's funny that we keep talking about like shit that our coworkers say because have you ever uh, this happened to me last week? I was working in an area I normally don't work in, mm-hmm. right? And I was working um uh one of my one of my uh one of my like assigned shifts of the week is I uh, working on a third shift, right? Yeah. So I work two days like on twelve hours on a normal shift, and then I work two eight hour at night, right? Mm-hmm. And one of the nights that I was working, I uh, I was assigned in an area that I normally don't work in, running two machines, whatever. 
And then uh, in this one area, there's four machines total. The other two machines are being run by another guy. I don't really know this guy this well. Actually, I don't even remember his name. I just, um, uh, but even if I did, I'm not going to say his name, whatever. But uh, he was a he was a younger African guy, right? Uh-huh. And uh, I had like, talked to him a little bit, and I was like, where are you from, man? And he's like, oh, I'm from Cameroon. I was like, oh, okay, oh, wow. you're from Cameroon. I was just like, how long have you been in the States? And he's like, I've been here for a long time. I mean, I go back and forth. And I, uh, I was like, oh, like, how often do you stay over here? How often do you go over there? And he's like, well, I try to stay here for a whole year or two, and then I'll go back to Cameroon for like a month or a month or two at a time. Okay. I was like, do you just spend time over there with family? He's like, I do, but I spend most of my time at orphanages. I go, I, I work for as much as I can to save up as much money as I can. And I go back and I use whatever money I have left to basically buy them food and clothes and, oh, spend, wow. and spend time with them. I was like, that's really noble of you, man. That's awesome. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, I just wish other people would like actually do that and go there and do real help. Cause a lot of people go over there and they don't do the right thing. And then he said, uh, just as last year, Kamala Harris came over there speaking about gay rights. And I'm like, this is Africa. We don't want that gay shit here. <laughs> he literally said that to me. I was like, what? Uh, what? <laughs> and, th- and he's like, yeah, like in Africa, we hate gay people. We kill them all the time. Yeah, and I was like, ridiculous oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just started sweating. I was just like, this conversation got really uncomfortable. Yeah. And he's just like, do you believe in God? I'm like. I do now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then, uh, he's just over there sharpening a knife. And he, the guy? and he's just like, and it's just, uh, he, he basically was just saying like, man and a woman, man, man and a woman in Africa. We don't fuck with that shit. And I'm just like, okay, Jesus Christ. And then man. I was just like, you're doing good, bud. Keep taking care of them kids. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, conver- that conversation went left field so yeah. quickly. And, and, I had talked to him a little because before that he was talking about like oh I um I became a born again Christian in Africa because uh, he went out partying one night and got alcohol poisoning and he actually like he, he got fucking huh he, he sucked a dick <laughs> <laughs> no he apparently said that he flatlined and that um, god damn yeah he drank because he said he just drank was he like, drinking jet fuel over there I have fuck I don't yeah. know like, he was drinking some fucking African moonshine or something but. He he, uh, he apparently, like, his heart stopped, they revived him, and then after that he hadn't drank a drop since, and then he devoted his life to God. And, and hating the gays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, taking care of orphans and hating the gays. Yeah. But I was just like, I didn't even know Kamala Harris went over there. Like, yeah. I'm just trying to, like... Just... When was she there? <laughs> <laughs> but I was so uncomfortable <laughs> through the whole thing. I was just like, oh, God. Yeah. So, uh, what are your pronouns? <laughs> Murderer. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I, dude, I don't. It's all those videos from, the, uh, from like YouTube. Why are you gay? <laughs> I'm not gay. No, you're gay. <laughs> but it is a real thing. Like I know. I think it's in. I think in Ni- Was it Nigeria? It might be Nigeria. Mm. But they're trying to pass like a. They're trying to pass like a really like ruthless anti-gay law, like where like if you're suspected of being gay, mm-hmm. it can uh it can get you anywhere from ten to fifteen years in prison, and if you are openly gay in the country, that is a death sentence. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know if it's Nigeria. I know it's an African country. No, no, no. Hold up. I think it's Uganda. I th- mm. think it's Uganda. Okay. Uganda, get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I it's. Uh, I think the gay should, uh, the gays over there in like Africa, mm-hmm. in that area, uh, if the law passes, just say you might be gay. That way they put you in prison and then just make prison a utopia for gays. <laughs> like there's like shops in there. They're, you know, they're doing like choreographed dances and shit. You know, they're just living their fucking lives. And never, meanwhile, all mm-hmm. the other ones are outside like, mm, yes, we, justice has been served. I don't know why they're French, but. <laughs> 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 it is a utopia in this prison. Utopia. Mm-hmm. We have Zumba on Thursdays, <laughs> and we can eat all the poo poo. All the poo poo. <laughs> out the anus. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, I'm, if they're doing that over there, why don't all these conservative Christian right wing nationals just go to Africa? Well, apparently, this bill that they're trying to pass, and I don't know if it's in Uganda or Nigeria, it's one of the two. I'm, I'm sorry um, for if I got 
both of those wrong. We're American. We we don't have a really good knowledge of anything it could, else it, in the world. It could be Cameroon. It could be Nigeria. It could be a lot of different countries. It could be, uh, but whatever. It could be Florida. <laughs> but apparently this is a bill that Joe Biden had talked about and said that he wants to like, be in talks with them to try to like revoke like them from doing this because they think it's a real heinous yeah. and apparently even fucking uh, Ted Cruz threw his fucking like hat in the ring and said that like, yes, like what's happening in Africa should not be happening. It's thing, which is funny because his, did he have a change of heart because his daughter came out as a, I think so. But what's funny is his supporters started like giving him shit in the comments wow. of that. T- like his, they were a little like, what are you, why, why are you turning your back on us? Like Ted, He's like, you're turning your back on these gays. You know what happens when you turn your back to them gays. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were saying all kinds of stupid shit, dude. Yeah. Well, but, have you heard about the shit that's happening with uh, Chick-fil-A? Yes. Yeah, so they got a diversity person to come and just... <laughs> it, there was no mention about gay people Yeah. at all. It was just like, hey, we hired someone for diversity. And then all these comments and all these people sh- just shooting off on Twitter or true social, whatever the fuck they have. <laughs> And they're like, what are they going to put in the Chick-fil-A sandwiches to make us all trans now? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they're going to pump them full of like estrogen so that way you grow titties. The like, Chick-fil-A sandwiches are turning the frogs gay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then one guy's talking about like they're just going to rape your children and a bunch of other shit. It's like they didn't talk. They didn't say anything about gay people <laughs> at all. That's they just, just said we hired someone for diversity, which just means they're going to hire the... The Christians that are not white. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fu- <laughs> It's funny the fact that people are like, I will never eat Chick-fil-A again because they're, they're not homophobic enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, there was that one guy being like it was like he was like some super like right wing like uh Twitter guy. <laughs> and he was just like, I like Chick-fil-A too much. I don't like it, but I'll still eat it. (laughs) It's like, way to stick to your guns, bud. It's like, do I want the Polynesian sauce or do I want to hate the gays? I kind of like the Polynesian sauce. (laughs) I like my chicken sandwich with a side of waffle fries and homophobia. Mm. (laughs) But yeah. And then like, um, it's coming out a lot, like with all the... Like with Target, they pulled a bunch of their shit because uh, there was like some threats made to their employees, <laughs> and like the gay people, the gay community called them out, being like, "If you're gonna stand with us, stand with us through thick and thin. Like, don't just be like, oh, they said something, so I gotta pull all this shit.'" Yeah, but I just yeah. I, I remember somebody had talked about like, honestly, what if every beer company started doing like pro like LGBTQ campaigns? Oh, so many have already, and, and they were saying like, "Dude, we might just turn America sober." Like, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is great. I mean, there'll be less road rage, less domestic the thing, violence. But there's a lot of people who, like, were saying, like, oh, like, Bud Light is done for. Like, they're not going to be able to, like, I mean, yes, they have, like, record-breaking, like, lows, like, as far as their stock goes and shit. Yeah. But people are going to buy beer. Yeah, they're a multi-billion dollar company. Yeah, and not just that, but it's, like, most of these companies have, at one way, mm-hmm. shape, or form release some kind of like pro lgbt like did you hear did you, the no did you see for the beer the bud light thing um like right after that happened another company came out and said like we have a beer it's called like patriot beer or whatever it's yeah for, you know all this shit the the company that owns that brewery is bud light or budweiser yeah it's An- it's anheuser yeah. bush yeah so they're like they're making their comp- competition's beer yeah it's like smart. It's probably just yeah. a relabeled Bud Light. It is more than likely. <laughs> it's it's fucking stupid. Um, and I know people apparently um, got mad at Ford because they did a pro LGBT uh, the rainbow Q- truck. Yeah, something like that, yeah. right? It looked like the trucks are going to fuck in the beginning, though. It's funny, though, because every <laughs> comment was just like, I told you Ford uh, drivers are gay. <laughs> That's why I drive a Chevy. It's like, you ever shut. look in your buddy's eyes when you're driving your Ford and touch him on the leg? That's more, that Bill Ford tough. But a down, 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 down. But no, it's just. 
It's just so stupid. Like when you're riding an F one fifty and you're the passenger princess to a fucking <laughs> six foot eight man, but pure muscle and steel, and he bends you over the hood and fucks you in the ass. You know it's a Ford. <laughs> when you're riding that stick shift hard over them rough terrain, you know it's a Ford. <laughs> But it's just every every company should come out with a with a gay ad, introducing the first truck that runs on cum. <laughs> but you got to suck it out first. <laughs> to change the oil, you have to <laughs> suck it out. <laughs> There's a sensor on it. It only it only unleashes the oil if it hits the back of the throat. <laughs> 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 Uh. <laughs> we replaced the airbags with pocket asses. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the uh, yeah? What's the lesbian? It's version? an F one fifty. F stands for fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the commercial. It just cuts off. off. <laughs> the next commercial is like. Here for we'd like to apologize <laughs> <laughs> for our recent ad that came out. <laughs> Maybe the truck's a little too gay. <laughs> <laughs> to open the door, it's like a it's like a anal bead plug thing. <laughs> 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 oh god. <laughs> Just the idea of a company being like Dude, we should make a gay truck. <laughs> it's like that's so dumb. What is what would a gay truck look like? No, actually, that's a good question. What what company would it be like the most ridiculous thing to come out with like a pro gay like anything? Like, because obviously, like it's already ridiculous that beer companies are just like, hey, we support gays, drink our beer. But but like the truck one is ridiculous. But like how at what point does it just become like just too much? Because sometimes gun companies. I guess that is true. Yeah. Like the NRA. Yeah. Like comes out with some fucking like pro LGBTQ like rifles. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just like our guns. We allow everyone to be free here. (laughs) They shoot a gun. It's like packed with like colored powder. So it shoots a rainbow. (laughs) Yeah. What else? My wife got me a brand new AR-15 with matching rainbow customs. (laughs) I love her so much. I sucked her dick. Yes. She's trans. (laughs) And it's the person from the Bud Light co- tra- uh, commercial thing. <laughs> what the the trans uh, woman that they had for the yeah the yeah, thing. yeah yeah fuck what was her name I don't know I don't know I don't keep up enough. she's only uh she's only been uh what trans for like a year I, I think have no idea yeah she's she's uh, because I know she got popular on TikTok because she was doing like every day um of like womanhood thing and she was like at the time of her. Her bud, uh, her bud light campaign. She mm. was celebrating her three hundredth and sixty fifth day of womanhood, oh, right? Because wow. you know she was, uh, she had been, she had just transitioned, uh, yeah, like a year ago. So, and that's how she, that's how she blew up on TikTok because you know she uh, basically showed her whole transition step by step, like wow. as over yeah. the year, I guess. yeah, over yeah. the year, yeah. That's crazy. Meanwhile, I'm still saluting that guy doing that dance until he gets a girlfriend. Have you seen that guy? No, what? It, this is guy who does the. This is an anime dance called the Chicka Chicka Dance, which is based on like some really girly anime. Mm. And this dude uh, started this trend of like, I'm gonna dance the Chicka Chicka Dance every day until I get a girlfriend. And he's already at like 1,250 days. Like, I wonder fucking why. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he needs a Ford truck. Huh? He needs a Ford truck. Yeah, maybe or maybe girls. or maybe he was gay this whole time. Yeah, so he was never gonna get a girlfriend. It's like, oh, you played the system well. <laughs> oh, God. now that's clever. Yeah, I think it's weird that here in Georgia they don't do like a uh, like the pride parades or anything until October. Huh? Yeah, I didn't know that until like uh, we gotta be drunk. For, you gotta be drunk from Oktoberfest to be like, yeah, gays are cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Fuck yeah. Which is. <laughs> I'm totally about the gays. I hooked up with this girl and she had a dick and I was like, fuck it, I'm already here. Yeah, like <laughs> flicked it around, you know, it was crazy. It was like a light switch, you just on and off on Which off. like nine times out of ten, that is most dudes' reactions when that happens. Now. 
now. Yeah. Yes. Well, actually, I'm not sure, dude, because well, it flip of the coin, I feel. Not 9 out of 10. Cuz like I met like um one of our one of our cousins, our our cousins baby daddy's brother he told me a story about him going to a club Mm -hmm. and then he got with a girl and then he got frustrated that she only wanted anal and then found found out there was a guy and he was just why did it take you that long to Uh, find out uh, because he's fucking he was a moron that's why because i mean i mean he he was he had a few screws loose and he (laughs) told me like it's like yeah after i found out i was just like oh shit i didn't know you you were you you were you were trans (laughs) And then the turns around has a five o'clock shadow. (laughs) How? And then he said like the whole interaction was just like, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not really into this. And it just like, he's like, I felt bad. I drove her home. (laughs) At least you used the right pronouns. Yeah. 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 But, um, (laughs) is, I think it's more of a flip of a coin now. It's not nine out of 10. Cause there's still some fucking, alpha bro dudes out there that if that happens to them it's sad but they will probably hurt that person i still love the story of like why that one voice actor from the yakuza games is a hardcore like um lgbtq (laughs) so um for anybody that doesn't know there's a video game series out of japan called yakuza and it's a really great game Mm -hmm. a game series but there's one voice actor that plays like a main like mafioso boss character that's very intimidating and they use all like the facial capture shit to Mm -hmm. really like you know bringing like the the facial expressions and shit but he's always been an open lgbtq plus supporter and when he got interviewed on why he was like oh i've always been a supporter since college because in college i got the best head from a trans person (laughs) and then because of that like literally that was the only explanation he gave and he was just like Oh yeah, hundred percent. I'm all about these people. Like, <laughs> like you unlocked a new kink. Like, <laughs> Just uh, out of this fucking world, man. Just blew my <laughs> brains out. <laughs> uh, brought to you by Topo Chico today, guys. Ah, delicious. They'll sponsor us one day. Yeah, hopefully. I was actually doing that. Like, I forgot what day it was. It was over the weekend. I was just like, what would it take to just get a random ass sponsor? And I stumbled across one. I don't know if it'll work for us, but you can put in an application and they'll just send you a bunch of free shit. And you just have to like show it on your podcast and like, yeah. you know, plug it. Um, it's for like a, it's almost like gamer subs, but it's not gamer subs. Mm. And apparently it's like all natural stuff. It uses like something out of like coffee that it's not as bad as coffee. No other, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, uh, what the fuck's that word? Nothing that it, it won't make you crash. It's made of natural things and blah, blah, blah. And all that bullshit. And I was like, maybe, okay. but it's ma- mainly uh, like a bunch of like the you know, influencers or like, uh, streamers do it. Yeah. I'm like, maybe it's something we can get. I, kn- I know through like the platform that we use to post our show, uh, I was checking like the analytics and you have to have like a hundred concurrent listeners yeah. throughout a month to get it. And we're almost there. Oh really? Yeah. We're only like, 30 listeners away come on guys yeah tell your friends well the truth be told <laughs> is like it, it's such a mixed bad with podcasting dog yeah. because like we don't have a big presence on youtube and i know you can get a lot of people through that but also like we do get a lot of traction with our clips and shit mm-hmm. but like you don't have the full videos anywhere which i'm gonna try to change that I'm hoping yeah, as we have ca- people asking for you on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And also, um, one of my coworkers, shout out, what's up? Uh, she uh she was telling me I didn't know you could yeah, put Thanks for the sp- heroin, by the way. Yeah. Uh I'll see you at work. <laughs> <laughs> uh maybe. <laughs> um you can post the videos up on Spotify too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can. Um, I don't no. know how well it's optimized. Um, I haven't tried it. I could attempt it. Um the issue is because of my fucking hardware yeah. shit that I'm dealing with, because um, I'm, I'm planning on getting a new computer um, later this year. Once that becomes a thing, I'm going to try to do as much as possible, like putting up stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm just saving and archiving what I've filmed so far, yeah. and then I'm going to go through most of the footage, probably the better episodes to post those up, Yeah, and... Um, because there are some episodes that are a bit of flops, you know, like the early ones, like I, you, like 
I, I took the time to go back and listen to like the first few episodes that we did, and yeah. you can tell that we were still figuring out how to talk yeah. like like about stuff. You know, we're good. <laughs> no. But now we're getting the hang of it now. Uh, it's just you need to... We both need to get better at coming up with topics. Yeah. Um, I, to be honest, the main reason why I didn't have a topic ready was because we did have a topic originally planned that required a little bit of research, and I decided to <laughs> just spend all my time playing yeah, Tears, of the, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Like, hey, I'll, 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 t- I'll take fault. For not for not putting in the work, but come on, I can't be the only one that writes stuff. You got to write shit too. It's all in the brain, man. It's off the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but like, it's it. I don't know. I don't know. What I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, the, the writing the doesn't right write off the cuff. Right off the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I'm I mean, an improvisational master. <laughs> No, uh, g- g- shit. <laughs> give me something. Give me something. What? Fourth of July? Uh, 9 11. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I mean, we're doing too, you're not too, too bad without a topic today. Yeah, no, no. I mean, we're talking we, about uh, gay well, remember, pride and all this shit. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah. we, we've done episodes before. We didn't have a topic. We just kept talking yeah. the whole fucking time. And <laughs> people, for whatever reason, I, I, occasionally like listening to just random fucking bullshit yeah. that we spill. By the way, <laughs> shout out to the fam out in Texas. They came and visited us, and they, and then uh, our cousin was just like, "Love the podcast, bro!" Like me and my sister listen to it all the time. We Wait, laugh. At uh, it. Uh, the uh, guy, yes. <laughs> Did he hear us talking shit about on the first couple episodes? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it's. it's <laughs> he probably has, um, and then uh, our Theo <laughs> also commented, and he he was just just like, "I didn't know that." Uh, uh, Joe's dad did all that stuff on 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 Facebook and stuff. I need to look at that. What stuff? You know, because we always talk about how your dad like live streams and does like goofy shit online. Oh right? yeah. And then uh, I guess Theo like had listened to it and he was just like, I never even noticed kind of stuff. Right? It's funny. I'll, Way to I'll, be part of the family, Theo. <laughs> <Not> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll fill you in on more of the shit that they said because yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. like. Uh, Put everything. Our private business on on this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, it's it's, it's already awkward enough as it is because like I already know a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of family and like close people like listen to this show, yeah. and sometimes like they'll bring up it's like oh yeah so the other day you were talking about and I was like oh what what the fuck they're putting me on the spot here I yeah. forgot what I said. No, but, like my my family has told me about stuff like I know the after reels this and shit and they'd be like why did you talk about that I was like because I wanted to shit. Yeah, yeah it's, I, I, I got I, my emotions. I got my. Feelings. I've had a couple of Diaz tell us that they've listened to the show too. Yeah, the next thing I need is to bump into them and be like, "So did they really make a gay truck?" I'm like, ah. "Hell's yeah, they did. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> <laughs> Slay. It's called the Slay Ray. <laughs> yeah, here I cut it on for you. <laughs> when you rub it, I. <laughs> <laughs> It backfires. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Uh, but no, it's just fun. So this is the episode where we get canceled. Yeah, we talked by we, our family. By our family, <laughs> they support the gays. Yeah. Oh god! Yeah, I always have because yeah. they've never bothered me except for that one that I had that one gay dude in high school that had really smelly feet. There used to be this gay guy that used to go to our school in high school. Yeah. And the thing is, nobody cared that he was gay, but he was just, like, obnoxiously, like, loud. And and not even loud in, like, the gay, prideful way. Just kind of, like, he was just like, ha! Ah! Like, yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 everything, everything that came out of his mouth was in, like, a yelling form. And then he used to always wear these dirty, open-toe Birkenstocks, Ugh. and his feet always smelled. And we used to always be like, bro, wash your fucking feet. And he's just like, you just hate because I'm gay. And we're just like, no, because no, your feet stink. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know what happened to that guy. Ugh. Feet probably still sink. Probably. Yeah. But um, I wonder if grandma's ever heard our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, we, we I have, just wanted to hear the one of us talking about her in that first reel. You know, actually, on the on the subject of stinky feet, uh, this just reminded me of something. Something that has been catching my attention lately on again TikTok. with the feet, bro. No, again, it has nothing to do with feet, <laughs> but I've been noticing that a lot of people, a lot of people, minority groups, mm-hmm. 
have been talking about why is it that so many white people are openly okay saying that they don't wash their legs? Oh, yeah, it's so weird because they let the water just drizzle down. Like, like, why is that okay? It's not. I because re- the <laughs> thing is, I remember, I remember like being over at a friend's house, and one of my friends who was white, his feet were stinking a little bit, mm-hmm. and I could smell it. And I was like, "Bro, you need to wash your fucking feet, dog." And he's like, "Who the fuck washes their feet?" And it's like, "Well, that's why hold- their feet." And then, and, then I, yeah. like, and then I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, hold the fuck up! Are you telling me that when you're in, in the shower, you don't take like a loofah, a, a, a washcloth, or just the plain bar of soap and scrub your feet?" And yeah. he's like, "No, who the fuck does that?" I was like, "I assume everybody." Yeah. And then the rest of them were just like, "Nah, we just let the fucking water like." Like mm-hmm. wash down like that. That's what cleans us. Like that's not clean. Like and then yeah. and it's then all the filth is washing to your legs. And then white people have the fucking nerve to say that minorities are dirty. Yeah. It's like what the fuck. If I remember correctly, the indigenous people used to fucking bathe. No, yeah, they were very clean. Yes. Yeah, and then white people came over with their stinky asses, never taking a shower, just powdering their fucking wigs and shit. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Like the what is it? There's that one king, uh, one English king. He never took a shower. They had to force him to take baths every now and then. But even then, it was just like, he still fucking stunk. Yeah, the same, uh, I know, like, well, with yeah. the original, like, uh, Queen Elizabeth, they said that she fucking hated baths. Yeah, like, why? Well, back then, their baths were fucking weird, because remember, most of it was just them dipping themselves in perfume and shit. Yeah. Like, they didn't, like, bathe with, like, soap and water and How shit. How did they breathe with that shit? Because you, when you go through, like, you know, a JC Penny or something. Well, that's why they had so one. many fucking diseases, dog. Yeah. Just because they fucking didn't bathe. Like, they didn't, like, know that being cleanly was a good thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, indigenous cultures, like, the reason why they couldn't, like, they didn't have immune systems built for that kind of shit that came over was because yeah. they didn't think that kind of filth was even fucking possible. Yeah. Well, what was it um, when, like, the bubonic plague and things happened like that? Yeah. Peasants had a better chance of survival than uh, the uh, uh, lords and royalty and all that shit. Yeah. Because peasants, since because they worked outside all the time, mm-hmm. and, like, they tilled their fields, they did hard labor and shit because they had to. They would wash themselves more often, so it would clean them, so they would get less disease. Mm. And then, meanwhile, inside the fucking palace, people are losing fingers because of leprosy and shit because they never washed. I actually watched a, a video the other day that I was actually explaining a little bit about Lyme's disease because you know for the longest time I always heard that Lyme's disease come from ticks that come off of deers, yeah. right? But apparently that's not true. The way you Lyme dis- the, the way Lyme's disease is spread, it comes from deer ticks, but not from Tick deer ticks that have came off of deers, mm. but deer ticks that have took in blood from rats. Yeah, and that's and because uh, whenever a deer tick takes <clears throat> blood from a rat, something about that mixing creates a certain type of bacteria that creates like essentially Lyme's disease. And when yeah. that jumps onto a human, that's what creates Lyme's disease. You know, you know what I, I think? It's crazy because like you know, ravens and crows are really smart. You can train them to do shit. Mm-hmm. Why hasn't anyone taken like a, a murder of crows, trained them to hunt for ticks because they eat ticks? Yeah, and just like train them to hunt for ticks and then release them to like forest areas because mm-hmm. ticks do nothing. Like they, if they go away, they're no harm, no foul. It's like mosquitoes. Yeah, like if mosquitoes weren't around, there would be less disease. <laughs> That is true, but yeah. I guess it's because I guess people just don't give a fuck about wildlife anymore, man. man. Like it's it's uh, like the people that kill the fucking dolphins that wash up on shore because they're too busy taking pictures with it. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, I've heard that like uh, domesticating pigeons is like what like they're like one of the best birds to domesticate, and yeah. you can have like just a fucking army of pigeons. That yeah, that's can... why you see all those new people in New York with like the pigeon armies on their roofs. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be cool as shit to have, like, a, a pigeon or two. Yeah. Did you ever, like, read up on how pigeons ended up in North America? Uh, they were brought over from by, like, what, the French or something? Yeah, I think... The, I think and the, it wasn't the pigeons that are around now. It was, yeah. like, a hone pigeon or something like that. And they, they used to breed them for meat. Yeah. Yeah, because apparently pigeon is, like, a fucking delicacy. Yeah, it still is. Yeah. It's weird. Um, I mean, it's... It's bird, yeah. Yeah, it's but bird. Still, it's, but I guess it's like a like a quail. Yeah, maybe. But I want to eat a pigeon. I want a deep fried pelican. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try flamingo. 
flamingo. Yeah. Uh, like, I wonder, <laughs> do you think their neck has any meat on it, or is it just, like, gristle and bone? <laughs> you know when you get, a, like, a wing, and, like, the little tip of the wing has that gristle on it, and you're just, like, eating that shit? I wonder if that's their neck. <laughs> For God, we're fat asses. <laughs> I don't know why it made me think of that old Patrice O'Neill joke. Uh, mm-hmm. Joke where he's just like, "Man, I hate those goddamn like uh, Sarah McLaughlin like commercials and uh, shit." Yeah. Because all they ever do is make black people look bad. Because it always be like, it always be like a girl be like, um, be like, "Oh, we this poor dog like uh, I rescued him. Um, we found him with no eyes." And then uh, it cuts over to a black guy being like, man, is that a fucking dog? Man, I'd drown a dog in a bucket right now. So <laughs> someone someone bring me a dog. Is it? The <laughs> and then it cuts back to the girl. And then she's like, she's fucking like tongue kissing a dog. Yeah. And back to the black guy. And then he's just, and he's just like, man, she's fucking kissing a jackal. And then he's... <laughs> And then it cuts back to him again, and then it's just like, man, uh, he's like next to like a baby seal, and he's like, man, I can't wait to club the shit out of this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> God, but um, I want what's an animal that you would eat if you could? If I could, yeah, no repercussions. Uh, fuck. like it's it's everyone knows, no one will be mad at you, no repercussions, no one will think less of you. Hmm. The thing is, the only the only animals I've ever thought about curious on what they would eat are, pro- are probably ones that people like do kill and eat. You know, mm-hmm. like I've never had moose meat. I want to try moose meat. Yeah, I'm sure people. I'm, I'm sure. I, I mean, uh, the the closest thing I've ever gotten into anything that the close to that would be like I had caribou, caribou meat. Yeah. And those are like ones that you like. It's like a specific type of elk. Yeah. But it was like it was caribou jerky. It was actually really good. Um, uh, but besides that, I'm like, I know you can find gator meat. And I've never had gator meat. I'll eventually try it. Yeah, man, gator meat. Yeah. No, man. It's good. I don't really get around much. I need to. <laughs> but um, it's like uh, next time you're at the nearest gator spot, hit me up and we'll fucking go. Bro, it's uh, what's that one place in the lawn? You got Berman Street. They have gator meat? Yeah, it's gator bites. It's one of the appetizers. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. I just thought it was a fucking, you know. It's alligator. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And they give you a nice sauce with it, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's deep fried as fuck, too. So I just thought cool. it was like a catchy name or something. Nah, it's fucking alligator. It's, it's just, okay. I didn't yeah. know. Okay, my that's bad. That's a good old Cajun, man. Well, okay, next time I ordered uh, dino. Why doesn't Popeye's sell alligator? That's if they, they talk about it as Cajun like cooking and shit. It's true. They sell shrimp. They, they got, sell fish. They ain't got no gumbo. Yeah. Do they have a jambalaya? They don't have jambalaya either. No, they don't. They do they have don't. red beans and rice, though. They do have red beans. Yeah, but their red beans and rice is trash. Yeah, it is. It's so bad. It's literally like, fuck it. It's horm- I feel like every, it's hormone chili on rice. Yeah, like, every <laughs> every Popeye's needs a black, ma- like, mammy working there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's not racist. That's what they call them, too. Yeah, shit. <laughs> but no, like, I mean, they need someone that actually knows how to cook Cajun food. Oh. Yeah, they make the chicken. Like, I like their chicken. I thought you were suggesting that they need to have an oversized black woman with, like, really, like, hangy arms that cause you sugar every time you go to that Bro, restaurant. Bro, how many people would go to Popeye's if that lady Oh, every there? fucking day. Every day. I'd be so fat, dude. Dude, I'd go every day there just to get a biscuit just yeah. to say hi to her. I don't even buy anything. I just walk in and, like, I see you again. Yeah. Like, oh, come here, sugar. Let me there, used to be, there used to be a lady like that. There used to be a lunch lady at my old elementary school. I mm-hmm. loved that woman. I loved her. <laughs> but yeah. But no, like, um, what was I saying? What so you mean? What would be the animal? Fuck, dude. You know what? I want to go off on a limb. I want to try some fucking human meat, dog. Yeah, human meat. Yeah. I want to try, try some long pig, bro. I want to eat. Uh, I want to try hippo. Hippo? Yeah, because you know why I was thinking why? Uh, chicharrones, because they make them out of pig chicharrones mm. with all that fat and gristle on it. I don't know. Hippos Imagine are, a hippo. I mean, hippos are really muscular, too. Yeah, but they have a layer of fat on them. That is true. How good would that shit be on a taco? I wonder if anyone's ever tried to make chicharrones out of, like, well blubber. That's a lot of fat. That'd be something else to try, then. That's actually... I'm actually kind of curious. Let's go to Japan. Because <laughs> they hunt fucking whale. Let's go to Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they stopped the whale hunters. Huh? They stopped whale hunters. Shit, you think they listen? It's Alaska. They don't give a fuck. No, they're, we'll go hang out with the, the Inuit people. Inuit? Because they're allowed to hunt whale. We'll just try to blend in. <laughs> I mean, just get a sunburn on our face. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I was going for slightly racist, and you just went full racist. 
Also, they don't say that. <laughs> it's like Joe blend in. You're dressed up as Maui from Moana. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> now, where's that whale blubber? Uh, has anyone no. seen a teenage girl and a pig? <laughs> <laughs> We're calling the police. <laughs> She's got a retarded cock, too. <laughs> <laughs> But no, like, well, hold uh, on. We're looking for a girl or a man. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both of them. Uh, but no, like, um, like I know I've seen the videos that they um, they eat a lot of raw. So mm-hmm. they, like, cut up the blubber off of a seal. Yeah. And they'll, like, put it in, like, a freezer. And then they'll just eat that shit raw. And apparently it's really good. Like, I can just, like, I'm not a fan of, like, pickled, like, pig meat or pig skins. Yeah. But I I feel like I can fuck with that though. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. What's what? another animal? What's another animal? Okay. You talk just, human. You talk human. You talk. Let's just say pig. theoretically. Theoretically. You and me take a vacation to China, <laughs> and we end up at a specific festival. Not the dog festival. <laughs> no, I won't eat a dog. Yeah, I won't do it yeah. either. But I'm just saying, I mean, like, we probably have in Mexico, but we just don't know it. Do people eat? Do people in the south eat raccoon? I Where? feel here. Yeah, yeah. I've heard. I've I've thought I've heard about. It. I remember one time. I'm pretty sure it was a podcast with like Theo Vaughn. He talked about how they used to eat owl meat because <laughs> they used to hunt owl. And then they would be like, there's not a lot of meat on that fucking thing. It's mostly just feathers. And it's like, I don't think you're allowed to do that. They're endangered. And he's like, well. Yeah, you're not supposed like, to eat owls, like, we, Well, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like the the TikToks I sent you of uh, the guy making fun of Theo on, of all the shit that he says. like, pull up a, a chart showing how many uh, uh, owls are gay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, no, like. I would try, like I said, a hippo. Mm-hmm. I feel like it'd be pretty good. But then again, now we're, now we're delving into like the savanna. You gotta think about I me. Mean, there's lions, giraffes, and shit. Oh, Ele- giraffe! I would never eat an elephant. Fuck that. Nah, elephant. Elephants are too sweet. They're too smart. I feel guilty sometimes eating pigs. Man, pigs are smart too. But at the same time, yeah. ignorance is bliss. Yeah. I'll eat the fuck out of a pig. I don't give a shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've had roasted pig too many times. Hells yeah, man. When their family brings a pig over, they kill it right in front of you and cook yeah. it. Yeah. Hells yeah. That shit's Did good. you ever get tripped out as a kid whenever they used to have, like, the cow head? Like, at uh, uh, whenever they would have, like, the... Fuck no, dude. I fucking love... Whenever I saw that cow head, I was happy as fuck, dude. I mean, I got freaked out about it, like, a few times. I mean, I, I always bring up this one story about the time that I... <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, okay, so, um... <laughs> this is a story that my, uh... My wife loves that I tell sometimes, right? So back when we used to live in that trailer park in Dahlonega, right? The one where, like, you know, you used to live, like, down the hill near that big tree, right? When we lived up there, I remember there was one day where I was just, like, my dad was outside working on one of his cars, whatever. Mom, I don't know where the fuck she was. She might have been over at your house, like, hanging out with your mom or whatever. but uh, Or she was in the other room. But, like, you know, my dad was outside. I was inside. And then... um. I was making my I was making myself a PB and J. I was making myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? And as I'm getting it together, you know, I finish my sandwich, I put it on the table on a plate. I'm going to the fridge to go grab myself like some milk. My dad calls me and he was just like, "Junior, like, uh, bring me a beer." I'm like, "All right." I go in the fridge, grab my beer, and I go outside. And then while he's out there, he's like, "While you're here, uh, do this for me." And then I, I, I he guess he sent me to go grab like something for him, I guess mm. like a tool or whatever. So it, I was gone. I was outside for like a good like 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Yeah. Finally, I'm like, all right, back to the sandwich. So I go back inside. And as yeah. I walk inside, there's a fucking possum on the table. Are you serious? Eating my sandwich. <laughs> and I was, and the thing is, this is the first time I ever seen a possum in yeah. my life. So I'm like, what the fuck? I thought it was a big ass rat. I was like, dad. And I ran out there. Oh, my dad, I was just like, Dad, there's a fucking rat in there. And then he was like, what? And then he walks in there, and he was like, oh, shit. He was like, all right, give me a minute. And then he uh, he walks out, he walks back outside, grabs a shovel, goes inside, all he hears, clunk. 
And then he just threw the motherfucker in the woods. That poor possum was just like, when he, he walked in, he's like, hey, man, that's a good sandwich. A lot of peanut butter. Uh, I feel so bad about it. Yeah. but Because uh, possums aren't, they don't do anything to you. Yeah, but yeah. of course, like, you know, yeah, you, you don't kid, know any better. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I nearly fucking cried coming home the other day because we were coming off the exit, like coming back like to the yeah. house, right? And we're driving off the exit ramp, and there's a big, like, 14 wheeler like in front of us right mm-hmm. like you know hauling a big old trailer and shit this little possum's running across the uh, road it tried to go in between the wheels and then i just see the wheels go past it and then literally it's fucking brains flying into the air <laughs> and then its body just ragdolling and i was just like i saw it yeah happen and i was just like oh my god like i put my head down and my wife was like are you okay i was like no i did not need to see that right now (laughs) uh because like i know how sweet possums are and how innocent they are and like i had babies on it no it's uh i didn't see any babies on it or anything um it it was probably like a male i'm Mm -hmm. guessing because I know um, males tend to be the ones that roam around a lot because they're yeah. trying to look for a mate, they're right? Hunting. And females usually just hide in the woods yeah. and shit like that. Um, or, like, under houses and stuff. Because I remember one time I heard I heard something outside of the house and I walked outside because I thought it was, like, the stray cats, like, getting mm-hmm. in the garbage. But, no, I saw this possum and it had all the babies on its back, like, yeah. clinging on and it ran off. Then it's like, uh-oh. Uh, uh, there's a what? dog. <laughs> I'll get her out of here. Okay. Oh, watch out. Okay. <laughs> Un momento while we lock the door. <laughs> She's just busting in here like, what's up, fuckers? What y'all talking about? I forgot to put that. I forgot to put the lock on the door because nah, this fine. door, you just push the fuck yeah. open. But, um... No, uh. I, I left here one day and I saw that possum with all the babies on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, look at it!" It was just walling away. It's like, "Ah, nothing to see here. I'm just with my babies." Right now, we're dealing with a bunch of kittens. We got four kittens under the house. Oh yeah, you told me. We've been leaving the mom out food. I don't think they're old enough to eat solid food yeah. yet, so she's probably still like feeding them and shit. But one night, um, I walked out and the mom was gone, and one of the babies was just chilling on the porch, and I was just like, "Oh." Maybe it trusts me. And I tried to pick it up, and it immediately was like, and then just it, it like, tri- little yeah, yeah, it started <laughs> swiping at me. It got really fucking mad that I was even near it. I was just like, okay, I better leave these alone. I'm hoping once they get a little bit bigger and they stop like feeding off the mom, I can catch them and try to find them homes. Yeah. Cause, uh, I don't want, th- I don't want to have like four straight cats to like feed. Yeah. And especially if they're boys and girls. Yeah. Yeah. They'll just start fucking each other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's an older, like, cat that roams around here sometimes, too, besides the mom. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that one's an offspring of that mom or if that one's not, but there's something wrong with that cat. Like, its head looks like it's squished. Oh, wow. Like, it has, like, a fucking, like, caveman unibrow. Like, <laughs> ugh. And then when well, you I, maybe it has a uh, Down syndrome. There's cats that have Down syndrome. I don't th- no, it doesn't look like it has Down syndrome. It looks like it got fucked up in a fight where uh, like it lost some brain cells in the process. Oof. Or maybe it got hit by a car. That too. Yeah. Uh, that's what I thought. Because the cat's not like completely slow. Like you can you can leave it out food and it'll come and get food, but it's still like it, like if you go near it, it'll it'll run off. Like he's like, nah, nah fuck you. Like <laughs> You're like, hey cat, you all right? I'm a little fucked up and I'm okay. <laughs> 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 you all right <laughs> yeah i just uh it reminds me of all those uh tiktoks of uh someone pulled up the mask and it's like the mouth is crooked of a halloween mask it's like hey guys you want to go trick or treat <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah oh so today at work uh it was at the end of the day we really didn't give a fuck anymore uh me and uh my buddy there we were just so invested in this uh, ant that was outside the window because the ant like got a big ass like horse fly. Oh. And it was like, it was trying to figure out how to drag it back to its anthill. <laughs> and it was doing the thing that people do. Like when you're trying to move something heavy alone, you, you stop, you look at it, you try again, you stop <laughs> and you walk around it a few times. You're like, I just gotta get over there. All right, let me try it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and you move it a little bit like, all right, fuck that didn't work. And you walk around it again. And then it walked 
the path it wanted to take to see if it can like, all right, this is how I go. There's this I have to watch out for. Okay. It comes back and it tries to move it again. It's like, fuck. And then it leaves. Like it just like goes away into like the grass. And then we're like, I was probably telling its aunt people like to, you know, come and help it out and shit. And then we're just like sitting there like, maybe it's like, you know, it's like he's bringing this fly and then the other ant's like, man, fucking liar. You ain't bringing shit over here. <laughs> because then we saw another ant. It was a different ant because it was bigger. It came over and it went the same trail the other ant went, but it didn't go all the way. And then it turned around and went back. So it probably went back to be like, you're a fucking liar, dude. There wasn't anything there. <laughs> But yeah, but then like I left and I came back and the the fly was gone. So hopefully the ants came and grabbed it and left. <laughs> yeah, that's my work day. I was just at the end of the day we we're just like, yeah, we don't want to. Do we're just shit observing anymore. nature on the job. Yeah, the squirrels come up to the window all the time because it's like it's a full like the whole wall is a window. Yeah, so the squirrels will walk right up to the glass and just be there looking at itself eating a nut. Yeah, um, and we're just watching it. <laughs> at, at my job, we have we get a lot of um, like crows, mm -hmm. and they're always like digging through the trash to get like old food and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of times, you know, people go out on their breaks or like eating chips or or whatever, and they drop food, so they'll yeah. they're always picking up something. Like one time, uh, <laughs> I saw like a crow just care like fly away with a whole ass pizza in its mouth. Like a, like a whole slice of pizza. Yeah, and I, I, <laughs> it was just funny to see. And then um. I remember this one guy, he was like outside with like uh like uh, the vending machines this like this sell like those little like mini packs of like cheese and crackers, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. And then I guess he was out there just like eating them like on the sidewalk. And then he had got up to go like grab something and the bird just come down like, like da, 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 and just uh, fucked up his food. <laughs> <laughs> he bro, comes back like, God damn it, yeah, like bro, you should start training them. Huh? Have Train? you seen that guy? He um he posted up a thing. He's like, yeah, so I, I was like walking around my neighborhood. I noticed there's a lot of crows. And, you know, if you're nice to crows, they'll start bringing you things. They'll just bring you, like, buttons or shiny things that they find. And then every now and then, maybe one of them will bring you a quarter or a dollar bill because they just thought you'd want it. It's garbage to them. They don't care. Mm -hmm. So what he started doing is, like, he was giving them all, like, bread, like little pieces of bread. But whenever one of them dropped money to him, he would give it, like, like a fucking like a whole Ritz cracker or like something better, like some yeah. meat or something. So the crows learn, oh, if I bring him this, I get better food. Mm -hmm. So this motherfucker in a week made two hundred dollars. <laughs> what the fuck? Because all they were doing is looking for loose money or money that's just laying out. Damn. And they brought him a fuck ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's like, now I have a problem because I'm just getting money in and I sometimes don't have treats. So <laughs> oh, I would fucking go stock up on yeah. some Ritz crackers, dog. I'd just be buying, like carry around a pack of ham or something. Yeah. But yeah. So start training them crows, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I have seen crows um, around here. I mean, I see them a lot, actually. Yeah. But, but uh, all I ever see them is dig through trash and shit. Yeah. But, um, Ooh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. What is it that makes yawning contagious? I don't know. That's the thing that the, what, the Mythbusters try to figure that out. Yeah. Ah, oh, Mythbusters. Carrie Byron, the redheaded chick. Yeah. She's the babe. Apparently, those two dudes didn't like each other. Which ones? The two main dudes. Oh, really? Yeah. They talked yeah. about, like, after the show ended, they're like, oh, yeah, we have no interest in never, like, talking to each other again. Oh, wow. They're like, like this was purely a job like we didn't care for each other it's because they i mean they were always doing separate things yeah they were yeah. they were both like like science guys and shit but they they did not agree like politically on a lot of things oh uh, i yeah. feel like the guy with the mustache probably leaned more like right what was the opposite was it <laughs> no no uh, what what if it was that's what i'm weird. saying because everyone likes the the other guy a lot yeah but He's like, yeah, I love science, but I don't really care for the gays. <laughs> this this country in Africa has a really good law coming up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go test that myth. Yeah, I sent my gay nephew over there for vacation. <laughs> he hasn't come back yet. <laughs> I told him you're going to love Pride Month over there. <laughs> yeah. God. Just remember, wave the flag. <laughs> I mean, all I feel like all it's going to do is going to radicalize a bunch of, like, uh, like, 
uh, gay people. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, you see it happen in other countries where, like, uh, a group of people are outlawed or, or like, persecuted. They yeah. radicalize and do something. So, like, uh, what was it? Um, with uh, the Taliban and Al-Qaeda and uh, ISIS and all that shit. Yeah. Um, groups of women were getting together and training to, like, go fucking hunt these people down. Yeah. And they were, like, murking a bunch of, uh, of these terrorists down. And the reason they did it is because their belief was if you were murdered by a woman, then you died like with no honor and you don't get your 72 virgins. You don't get to like move on in, in like death and shit like that. You in Africa or? No, not in Africa. Like it's like the Taliban, ISIS. I was going to say, there's some, like that. there's a lot of African like female warriors yeah. over there. And like they did the, so like a bunch of like Middle Eastern women are just out there fucking murdering all these terrorists. And then posting up online so that way everyone knows that this person died without honor. <laughs> yeah. God damn. And they're like, fuck you. Yeah. Which is great. I'm I like, mean, I w- yeah. I've always been a hardcore supporter of, like, you know, the fucking uh, cholos in Iraq. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those guys are funny as shit. <laughs> I don't know why they're over there. Well, no, they were in Syria. That's where they oh, were. Oh, they are in Syria? Yeah. yeah. And they're, like, throwing out their set and shit. These people don't know who the fuck you are. They're like, yeah, fuck you, bro. <laughs> uh, we heard they were talking shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were there playing, like, fucking, what, SPM on a speaker while they're shooting the fucking terrorists. <laughs> God. Uh, when's that motherfucker going to get out of jail? Who? SPM. Uh, he should be getting out soon. I mean, he was with a young girl. Huh? Uh, He... he was with a young girl, like yeah. underage girl. Did you ever hear the full story of that? No, but I mean, he was an underage the, girl. Who, who, well, that's the thing. That was what was told, but he never was. He, she accused him of rape, but they never did a DNA test, and there was never ever any evidence. But he still went down for the crime. That's why a lot of people were upset about it. They think that this was just another motive to get him off the street. Because again, there were at the time, a lot of people were going after minorities and yeah. finding any little reason because it's one of those of it's one of those cases of like there's no proof that this happened, there's no evidence that there was ever a timeline of it happening. But I thought he came out and, uh, and admitted to it. No, he he took the plea deal and that's it. Mm. Oh well, well, we'll see. I, I I watched yeah. a few videos because I got curious about it one day and I was just like, why did he get locked up? And they're like, oh, it's statutory. But then you look into it. I'm just like, there's a lot, a lot of people who commented on the like, oh, yeah, he just got locked up for some bogus charge of statutory w- from a girl that he didn't even like really have a relationship with. Mm-hmm. And uh, the timeline doesn't make up because uh, the. The timeline that she that they were saying that this happened was a time when he wasn't even in the fucking area because you know he was an artist he was traveling, like being a performer. It's a lot of fucking crazy yeah. shit, dude. I, and again, I don't know. Maybe he did. I don't fucking know. But yeah. this is what people claim. I don't. I don't always know what side to take on these kind of things. Yeah. You know. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you fucked with R. Kelly. Maybe you deserve to get pissed on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's fucked no. up. No. <laughs> the fucking Dave Chappelle skits. Oh, did you ever did. get that video I sent you of that fucking like Houston rapper, like the Mexican OT, and he has that song with Paul Wall. Paul Wall's old ass is still rapping, and he's fucking still good as hell. No, I didn't see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul Wall comes out on it, and and, and uh. I was like, this is the first time I've seen like Paul Wall do anything in a long time. And apparently he's been still making music. And then yeah. people were talking about like, yeah, people do not give him enough respect. He arguably is probably the best white rapper that's ever existed. But no one's ever said it because no one considers Paul Wall white. Because, <laughs> because he's yeah. like, he's from Houston. He reps Houston hard. Yeah. He's got a black wife. He's got mixed children. He lives in the ghetto. And then he basically like, after his rise in fame of, on like you know on still tipping and, yeah. and all these other fucking songs that like blew up and shit, he just never left Houston because he was just like this is my home like yeah. this is like this is what I like like I'm putting money back into my community and shit, I'm, that's good for him man yeah like yeah. like like there's no point in continuing that that um 
I wonder if Beyonce does anything for Houston. Probably not. Yeah. I, she seems like the type of person that wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. Although I love that. Uh, <laughs> I love that fucking. Uh, oh, what's that fucking joke? I forgot which. I forgot who the fuck um, did this joke. There's this one comedian who did a whole joke about uh, Jay Z and Beyonce. Mm. He's like, if Beyonce, <laughs> uh, uh, if be if Beyonce worked at McDonald's, she could still get with Jay Z. But if Jay Z's ass worked at McDonald's, yeah. she there's no way that motherfucker's ever gonna no, be with yeah. Beyonce. He's a he's a rough looking guy if you really look at him. Yeah, but there there was basically saying like how the inequality works, oh, right? Yeah. I, I think he also said because like um because I'm he was like because I'm pretty sure Adele dates a guy from who works at Subway. Like, <laughs> <laughs> goddamn. No, I, I think they were talking about like his, her, like original baby daddy. Because I know he, she is married again. Who Adele? Yeah, no, she's no. married to like the. Um, I don't know if he's a coach or he has something to do with like the L.A. Lakers. Like he, no. he's either like a, a manager of them or uh, a coach. I'm one of those two. But yeah, he's like he's he's, he's in the sports realm. I know, bro. That guy, like, wh- I don't know if it's him or the guy she was with before, but um, he uh, he went above and beyond and kind of like he like told everyone to step up for your girl because um, one of the concerts that she had was I guess during like their anniversary or something like that. Yeah, and he she had like confetti coming down, and he got the confetti. Either he hired a team to write on each one, or he got them all printed. And it said, like, something from him to her Mm -hmm. on every single fucking piece of confetti that flew out out of that fucking, like, the concert. And it was like the whole place was full of, like, these things coming down. And all of them had little messages to her. And I was like, bro, who are you trying to fucking one up, bro? (laughs) Like, (laughs) Jesus Christ. And he's going to hold it over her head like she's going to give him something. He's like, oh, I mean, it's not confetti, I guess. But, you know. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it didn't take me, you know, a couple fucking weeks to do all this work. But yeah, oh, you bought me something that you used my credit card for, mm. <laughs> you bitch. I don't think she's using his credit card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She can sing, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Props to Adele. God, dude, if you caught with somebody that was, like, that fucking famous, how hard would you be balling? Bro. Forget about it. <laughs> I'd make sure nothing happens. <laughs> like, Huh? I'd be like, you know taking the time like because i mean i wouldn't have to work for one yeah so i'd just be taking the time to take care of myself and make myself look good <laughs> you know if i can keep the house immaculate yeah yeah, yeah. just be there because you know she might come back and be like well i met this other person that's actually like you know an actor or another musician and be like no please don't leave me i know some i know uh that kind of happened for a while for um the comedian ellie wong Mm. You know, she got like r- she popped off after like her two comedy specials. You know, like yeah. I think it was like Baby Cobra and something else, mm-hmm. and um, uh, and then she started like getting on movies. Dude, that Netflix series Beef. Yeah, you told me about it. It's really good. Yeah, I need to watch it's it. It's really fucking good. They, she did a great job. So did um um what's his name? Is it Daniel, or is it Stephen Yuen? Stephen Wynn. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the the character's name is David. Yeah, Char- the character's name is David Cho. So I, for a second, I was gonna be like, "Yeah, David Cho." I'm like, no, is not David Cho a person? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, what? Yeah, but um, what I was gonna say is, uh, yeah, in the middle of her like rise to fame, you know, she ended up having two kids with her husband, who was like a, I don't know if he was like a doctor. I think he was a doctor, right? Mm-hmm. But basically, after she got like super famous, he quit his job, became like a full time dad. Hells yeah, bro. And then before the third special came out, they got divorced. What? Yeah. I was like, bro, you were living like the best fucking life. Yeah, what are you doing? You're just being a full time dad getting paid for that shit? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it just didn't work out. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he was one of those guys who Maybe he was one of those dudes. It was Maybe just like, he just went for the free ride and it didn't really work out. Well, then again, I feel like sometimes that can also affect you. Like, think about it. Like, imagine, like, imagine that your wife became like a super famous person and she's gone 
all the time. Oh, yeah. It, that that can destroy your relationship. Maybe he was stuck at home all the time with his mm-hmm. kids, and then he was just like, oh, I don't. Shit, uh, what was it? Uh, there was that one bit. Or it wasn't a bit. It was like uh, it was on Two Bears. No, it was uh, Burt Kreischer's podcast. Mm-hmm. He was talking to, I think it was Theo Vaughn. Or something. And they were talking about, like, you know, like, you know, it's great. I'm out here doing this comedy show. I never thought I'd be doing this, but it has taken a toll on my life. Like, I miss. Oh, is that the one like, where they start crying? Yeah, shit? because he's like, I miss my kids. Like, oh, I wish I was with my kids. And, like, I, I, know, I, I don't know what clip you're talking about. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that fucking being on the road like that shit takes a toll on you. Yeah. That comedian's, uh, that's Chris Stefano. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, he's he's a really funny comic too. Yeah, and they yeah. both just start fucking crying because like Chris Stefano is funny as hell. Because for the longest time he was just doing this whole thing. He's like, "Am I gay? I think I'm gay." Like they're like, "What? Why?" Yeah. And it's because he he struggles a lot with his own like kind of like mm-hmm. like like uh like I guess like um, sexuality. Not sexuality. He he struggles a lot with like with like mental like um. Like imposter syndromes and oh, shit. Okay. So, because a lot of times he's just like, I don't know if I'm good enough to do this and this and this, and yeah. then I have to force myself. Like at one point in time, like he was like, I, I used to listen to his podcast a lot. He used to have a great podcast mm-hmm. called History Hyenas because he's a big like history guy. Yeah. So he he did that show with another dude, and then he used to always talk about all these different stuff. Another guy that's actually really like really knowledgeable in American history is a Shane Gillis. He actually talks about history a lot. Mm. Cause he's always talking about like, yeah, America's the shit dog. Like he's, <laughs> he's always talking about like, um, like recently I forgot. Um, he was talking about like, dude, fucking Ulysses S. Grant was the fucking man dog. Like he was the fucking shit dude. It's like, yeah, like I know a lot of people like to fucking like root for like the Confederate, but yeah. fucking, but Ulysses S. Grant, dude, he was a motherfucker, dude. <laughs> he was talking about like how Ulysses S. Grant was like one of the first guys where they're like, oh, what, we're outlawing slavery? Perfect. Like, I fully support it kind of yeah. thing. And he was, like, immediately, like, like, because he was like, I support America mm-hmm. kind of thing, you know? So, like, when I'm, when half of America was kind of, like, against slavery, he was like, I don't know about it. And then when it they were like, we're outlawing slavery, he was like, 100%. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, apparently he was a, uh, he was a, a real military badass, but apparently, you know, like the whole story, how like they said, like Ulysses S. Grant was a drunk and he showed up to like a meeting with. Like, oh the yeah, computer. because they uh, they they fucked him up before. Yeah, they got yeah. his ass drunk at a party because he, he never drank apparently. Yeah, and yeah. then he sh- he woke up late and showed up hung over as hell because yeah. he was like, "What the fuck?" They did it on purpose to fuck with him. Yeah, to make him look bad. Yeah, and then yeah. and then the rumor started like. All throughout, like, like mm-hmm. Ulysses S. Grant is a fucking drunk. And he was like, like, he was so pissed off about it because he's yeah. just like, I worked so fucking hard. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should talk about some history stuff. There is a yeah. lot of history shit that I wanted to cover um, for like in full length because some of it mm-hmm. is really interesting. I don't know where to start though because there's a lot of like world and like uh, American history that's interesting. Um, I know. I, I don't know if we've talked about talking about the whole like colonization of Mexico, like during the indigenous era. Of, I think like, we have, but that's a lot, dude. Yeah. Like that is, but it's very lot. interesting. Yeah, it it's is. very interesting. I mean, we can break it up by eras. Yeah. And then, you know, we could talk about the Aztec era, the, the Mayan era. We could talk about like mm-hmm. other indigenous stuff too. Uh, American history is also really f- fucking like interesting, but also very funny and stupid. Yeah. Because so much, so much of it is just like people being like, "How are we gonna fuck?" She's other a witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, I think that's a good cutoff. Yeah. Talked about Ulysses S. Grant. I like the name Ulysses. 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 Is that a Greek name? Yeah, I think. I've... Who knows? Yeah. Whatever. Who knows? Who knows? Eh, well, nobody's really trying to figure that out right now. Well, I am. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm about to cut you off, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get it out before I have to do the outro? Let's fucking see. <laughs> Latin. Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks again uh, for listening to another episode of The Night Funk. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Night Funk Podcast. And while you're there, make sure to click our link tree to find us on TikTok, YouTube, 
and join our free community discord we can uh ask us questions give us suggestions for future episodes and let us know what's got you in a night funk you can also follow us at our personals at handful of pedro and also in the woods and as always new episodes every friday on spotify apple Podcasts, stitcher and google podcast make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on new episodes and also give us a review if you catch us online yeah um yeah do it (laughs) (laughs) we don't have a lot of shit planned right now but we're constantly coming up with ideas so stay tuned for episodes and all that other good shit but yeah um happy pride month everybody happy pride month go the suck a dick (laughs) <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that's, that's like the worst. Like, that's the worst fucking thing. Instead or do of, whatever. Instead of being like, "Hey, go support like a local like LGBTQ." Yeah, go plus support group. your local uh, community. Uh, hit up a. Uh, uh, go to your uh, nearest gay homeless shelter. And actually, ha- yeah, and, and, and support. Yeah, yeah. And, and hand out some fucking uh, margarita mix. They love that shit. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Bring them some uh, red bottoms and. Uh, <laughs> Some Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> if you have the money, sure. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. I got nothing. Don't be a dick. Let everyone love who they love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Even if that person is a man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they eat the poo poo. <laughs> I'm going to get a fucking canceled for this. <laughs>